right, so today we're going to do a little review on the Camelback Rim Runner. Um, this is a new Urpac. They've had it out for a couple years, but this is the new model. Um, it comes in black, green, red. Uh, it's a 24 liter uh, cargo pack with a 3 liter um, water bladder, which is about 100 ounces. Um, so the main reason I got this pack, um, I needed something a little bit bigger than my previous day pack and a little bit smaller than my um, overnighter. So this is the Camelback Mule. This is about eight years old. I've had this for a very long time. Um, the only problem is it has minimal storage. Um, this is for the water and storage and storage and that's it. So this was a little too small for me, so moving up to this is a day pack. Um, so we'll see this in a little bit. Um, so as far as this pack goes, um, I just got this. I've taken it out once. Um, we're going to open it up, um, take a look inside, show you the new reservoir, um, show you all the features, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the pack. Um, we'll start on the outside of the pack. Um, so you have a loop here and a loop here for either an ice axe or trekking poles. Um, personally, I don't think I would use this in the winter. I don't think it's a big enough pack or a heavy enough weight of fabric. Um, it, it's ripped up nylon, but to me, um, in the winter, you do need a little bit of extra space. Um, so as far as the outside goes, you have the loop to tether. You have on both sides, you have pockets for either a water bottle, something small, um, just mesh stretch pockets. You have um, two compression straps, top and bottom, one on each side, and a hole loop on top. So that's it for straps on the front, basically. Now moving on to the back, um, you have two padded, but not heavily over padded um, straps. You have a chest harness. Um, that is movable on both sides, which is nice, so you can kind of adjust that. Um, you have a hip belt, which is removable, it's just velcroed on through two plastic ties. Um, and you also have strap holders for the excess. I like this design, they have it on the old design also. Um, it just holds the excess strap uh, on the shoulder, so if you're a little bit shorter, you have a short torso, you don't have the straps flopping around, which is kind of annoying on the trail. They do get hung up on stuff, and you know, it just keeps them out of the way. Um, as far as the back goes, the back is called Air Director. It's got the three panels. Um, they're like a mesh. They're a little noisy. Once it's on your back, it's not bad, but it definitely feels like there's like some plastic in there, and it kind of crinkles. Um, but it's well built. It definitely flows air pretty well. My back didn't get too sweaty with it, so I can't complain about that. Um, not the best thing out there, but for under a hundred dollar pack, um, Camelback is known for their stuff, and it's it's pretty well built. I can't complain. Um, so in the back here, I already have it removed. They have the storage for the actual bladder. Um, and they integrated this new hook, um, which the actual handle goes on. So I can grab this out and I can kind of show you. So, hopefully I can get this in with one hand. So that slides in there. This is empty right now. And this hook on the handle hooks into this slot and just kind of keeps it where it is. So it does definitely keep it from moving around. It kind of locks it in place. So now we can move away from the pack. We're going to put that to the side and we'll move on to the reservoir. So the reservoir is the brand new Anecdote Reservoir. It comes in blue. Um, this is the older style black one. Um, this is from my old pack. This black one is eight years old. Um, it's still going strong. Um, they are truly indestructible bladders. Um, I've stepped on it. I've uh, had 
my pack go through the TSA, through luggage handling, um, in LAX, JFK, um, Newark, um, and quite a few other airports. It's been abused. I've taken it on the trail on and off for eight years. Um, so I do like these packs. I definitely have a little bit of a favor or favorite to these packs versus the other hydrations out there. Um, we'll see how well built this one is, but I know their old design is flawless. I mean, it, it's not the best hydration pack in the world and nothing ever will be. There's always going to be kinks to work out. But as far as it goes, it was well designed, it was well built, and it's very sturdy. Um, they did improve, um, there's no doubt. Um, this one has the multi-turn old style lock. It is a little bit heavier. They are the same weight and almost identically the same size. Um, there might be about a three quarter inch difference in length, but the new one makes up for it in the width. Um, this pack is definitely lighter, has a lot of new features that are very nice. Um, starting from the bottom, it has the quick disconnect, which is very nice. And it also has the swivel um, in the quick disconnect, unlike this. This doesn't swivel. This one does. I don't know if it's a huge feature, but I definitely do think that it will keep it from uh, tangling up in your pack. And it will make the tube directing easier as far as that goes. Um, as far as the bladder goes, they put in a baffle inside. I don't really have a way to show you that. Um, and I'm not going to fill this on camera right now, but it has the, the marks for the different fill. Um, I don't know if you can really see that, but it is there. It's got the 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3 liter marks on it. Um, on the opposite side, it just has the 100 ounce Camelback logo. Um, so as far as this goes, this is probably the best design they've changed. It's a quarter turn open, so it makes things a lot easier. You line the arrow up, if you can get it. You line the arrow up with the circle here, and then you turn it until it clicks there. And that's the lock position. So, I mean, it takes a little bit of getting used to versus this, which you have to turn and turn. And it's about two and a half turns to get that open. I don't know if it's going to be a better system. I definitely think the newer system has a better chance of leaking. But on the other hand, um, this is definitely quicker, easier on the trail. And um, from what it seems like, the way it's designed, there's less to actually break on this. Um, but we'll see how that goes as time goes on. Um, so as far as keeping this open, let me show you the other kind of cool feature. Um, they added these, what they call drying fins underneath the edge. Um, I have not tried this out yet, um, but it supposedly, and it looks like it does, um, it keeps the pack open. And with the baffle inside and with that open, it definitely lets airflow in there better than the old pack. Um, the old pack, you really had to get in there with a towel and either pack it full of something like newspaper um, to really get it dry, um, especially if you were storing it for the winter or um, just storing it in general for any longer than a couple days. Um, I use these at least three times a week, whether it be for work, play, just going out um, for a day hike. I even take these into the city sometimes. Um, they're just a great way to not have to worry about carrying a bottle, buying drinks on the side of the street, um, you know, or going into a, a little bodega or store or something like that and spending four dollars on a drink when you have, you know, three liters of water on your back, which is a little more than a gallon, which is definitely a nice little thing to have. Um, as far as the mouthpiece goes, they did. Um, redesign this versus this. Um, they integrated the old style, the mouthpiece, as you can kind of see, um, was not integrated into the valve. So you could actually switch these, not very easily, but you can, you can actually switch the mouthpiece. Um, so I guess if multiple people are using the same pack, you can switch it out, um, which is a nice feature. 
Um, this is not set up like that. It basically has the valve and the mouthpiece all mixed into one, but obviously the mouthpiece is removable. You can just take it off and you can buy a whole pack of new ones if you ever need them. Um, to get them on is not always the easiest. I kind of recommend you gotta turn it and then kind of position it. But as far as the actual mouthpiece goes, it is identical. They haven't changed the thing. Uh, as far as the rubber um, bite valve, they work flawlessly. Uh, I mean, there's really, I don't think there's anything they could do to make that part of the design better. Um, the right angle, I don't know if I'm gonna get used to it. It'll take time. Um, it, it's definitely easier to position than that one, but I'm, just so used to that one. I mean, eight years on that pack is a long time to, you know, change something. Com not completely different, but definitely a uh, a big difference in, uh, you know, the layout.